We have a bag full of Christmas stories for the NTB Christmas special. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hi, I'm Will Chalkley. And I'm Haley Watt. Most everyone has that one Christmas movie that they have memories front to back. My personal favorite is The Christmas Story. What's yours? Cool, cool. I love Home Alone. Let's take a look at our school's favorite Christmas one-liners. It is Santa. You killed him. <laughs> I'm sorry. Charlie, stay where you are. Charlie, would you listen to me? Stay up there. It is Santa. You killed him! Did not. And he's not Santa. What is this? Christmas Town? Hmm. I want it, oh, I want it, oh, I want it for my own. I've got to know, I've got to know. What is this? Christmas Town? Hmm. <gasps> no, it's a lie. Don't give me that. You've been spooching with everybody. Snuffy, Al, Leo, little Mo with the gimpy leg, Cheeks, Bony Bob, Cliff. <gasps> No. It's a lie. I could go on forever, baby. Ah, humbug. Ah, humbug. Adios, Bart. But if you do come back, you'll be pushing up daisies. And don't you forget it. Adios, Bart. But if you do come back, you'll be pushing up daisies. And don't you forget it. Look, Daddy. Teacher says every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. Look, Daddy. Teacher says, every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. Those were pretty good. They sure were. How much do you know about Christmas, Haley? I'm pretty sure I know everything there is to know. Let's see how much our campus knows about Christmas. Good morning, Northeast Tech. I'm out here, and we're going to go around campus, and we're going to see how well some of you guys know your Christmas trivia. Which popular Christmas beverage is also called milk punch? Eggnog? Milk punch? A milkshake. Eggnog. In Home Alone, where are the McAllisters going on vacation when they leave Kevin behind? Paris? <laughs> California. Florida. In the classic How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the Grinch was described by three words. What are they? Mean, green, and nasty. Steve Steak Stunk. <laughs> movie Elf, what was the first rule of the Code of the Elves? 
I don't know. I don't know, but you smell like beef and cheese, so you don't smell like Santa. <laughs> right? <laughs> I thought you were telling me I smell like beef and cheese. <laughs> well, I don't know if I know that much about Christmas now. Yeah, those are pretty tough. What's your favorite Christmas song, Will? Um, probably Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer. Mine's less violent, rocking around the Christmas tree. I wonder what Christmas music tech students listen to. I'm sure they know all the lyrics to every Christmas song, right? Well, duh, I bet they don't want to be on Santa's naughty list. Some of you guys knew what you were talking about. Some may need to study a little bit. But now we're going to go and see how well you guys know your Christmas songs. I'm going to start a song, and you're just going to finish it, like okay. the next line. Are you going to sing it? No. I could, I guess. It just won't be good. Okay. Laughing all the way. Ha ha ha. Oh my god! Laughing all the way. Bells on bobtail ring. <laughs> Making spirits bright. There you go. Eight maids of milking. You got seven maids of milking? No. Re 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 Is that <laughs> Eight maids of milking. <laughs> Eight maids of milking. Nine. Nine ladies dancing. Is that right? <laughs> Close enough. Okay. <laughs> Sleigh bells ring. Ring a ling ding a ling. <laughs> no. Hidings of comfort and joy. Uh, up on the housetop. Reindeer paws. No. Definitely some kids on the naughty list. Speaking of the naughty list, did you ever have an elf on the shelf? No, actually I didn't, but if I did, it would have terrified me. Our mission is to tame Vixen the Elf for being naughty. Yes, Santa. Run. Oh, get that bitch! <laughs> nice! Somebody left me a duster? That's what I needed. I'm sorry, you have a Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you, much better, appreciate that. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. Can we name it Peter? Sorry, that's a mistake. Very disappointed in you, Vixen. Even though you were naughty, even the naughty deserves something nice. Thank you, Santa. Now remember, kids, I know if you've been naughty or nice, so be good for goodness sake. Yeah, that was pretty terrifying. I like your black sweater, it screams Christmas. Haha, <laughs> you're so funny. But thank you. At least it is one of those ugly Christmas sweaters.
gosh, all these Christmas videos are making me kind of hungry. I heard Lily made some Christmas cookies. Oh, really? Hi, I'm Kelly Lawson, and I'm here with Lily for another cooking episode. Today we're going to be making cookies for Santa, and I just cracked an egg, but it's fine. First, first you're going to need some flour. Now you need like, I don't know, half a cup of flour. I don't really know how much this is, so you're just going to, you know, just open that sucker up. Is that how it goes? Okay. And you're going to... Don't get that on my mic. It's half a cup, remember, there. half a cup. Cup. Yeah, you got half a cup on the outside. And then you're gonna need uh, a tablespoon of water. Um, this is half a cup, but it's the same thing. And then um, half a tablespoon of water, just. That's a tablespoon of water. Then you're gonna need some eggs. Um, okay, that one's already broke. Oh. <laughs> and. You just plop it in there with your hands, just do this, mix it up. Santa's gonna love these cookies. That's nasty. That looks like eggnog. Santa loves eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> then, you're gonna need a mixer. It's, it's lumpy. That's nasty. I'll get your mixer, don't touch it. <laughs> and if there's any like full eggs, just take them out. Let it get all gooey on your hands. The more gooey, the better. Is that how it is? Grab the mixer. Turn on. Six. episode of whatever I'm gonna cook. Who knows what it's gonna be, but you'll see. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. You know what? I'm actually not so hungry. <laughs> Got any ideas on what you're doing for Christmas, Will? Not a clue. We should all be grateful for what we give and receive on Christmas. Formerly known as the Angel Tree, Operation Christmas Morning helps families in need to give their kids a great Christmas. Casey Royalton is live with more on the story. Thank you very much. I'm here at Pryor Expo Center where Christmas morning is being saved by Pryor's Operation Christmas Morning. Sadly, not every parent is able to get a gift for their child on Christmas. But with the help of volunteers and Pryor's Operation Christmas Morning, it makes it happen. 
Pryor's Operation Christmas Morning is a project designed to help children age 0 to 12 that live in Pryor, Oklahoma. This project has a big impact in small town lives. Years ago, I was an angel tree myself, an angel tree child. My mother worked three jobs. She was a single mother. I had younger siblings. She could not afford to give us a good Christmas. Luckily, there was an organization similar to this that ran in my hometown and I was able to still have a Christmas that year. It's the holiday season and Christmas is just around the corner. Children have behaved good this year and they surely don't want to wake up on Christmas morning to find out that Santa couldn't afford to come. Students involved in our BPA chapter from the Visual Communication Program volunteered their time. Other parts of the community are involved and there are many ways you can help too because Christmas is not only about receiving, it's about giving. There's some real Christmas magic going on here. Back to you guys at the studio. Thank you, Casey. What a great organization. I'm thankful we have something in our community that does this for our friends and families. Even though it's less than 12 days of Christmas, our NTV crew visited each program to get them in the Christmas spirit. Our very own Blake Matthews, otherwise known as Blocka, and our special kids at Tech performed their own version of 12 Days of Christmas. On the 12th day of Christmas, Northeast Tech gave to me 12 builders building, 11 welders welding, 10 electricians leaping, 9 mechanics dancing, 8 cooks a cutting, 7 students designing, 6 bombs a pumping, 5 golden washers, 4 nurses helping, 3 French braids, 2 random arms, and an auto mechanic in a Chevrolet. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas and have a happy new year! Man, he should be on the boys. We gotta get him to fill an application. Remember, Christmas break starts the 21st and ends January 5th. See you guys on the 6th. This has been Haley Watt. And Will Chalkley, signing off. Have a wonderful Christmas break. See you all in 2020. <laughs>